this is Yana from Immeasurable, and thank you for tuning in to another one of the Immeasurable's inspirational moments. Today I want to talk to you about relationships. There are a lot of people in the kingdom of God that think just because they're active in the church, just because they hold a, a type of position, that God knows their name or that they have a true relationship with God. And that's not necessarily the truth. So, I want to tell you a story about a rich lady. There once was a rich lady who died and went to heaven. As she opened her eyes, she was in heaven and God greeted her at the gate. God invited her in. And as she began to walk around heaven and talk to God, she began to see a lot of things in heaven. And the more she began to walk around heaven, she came to a very, very large house. This house was beautiful. It was filled with diamonds and pearls. And she asked God, whose house does this belong to? God said, oh, this house belongs to the lady that attended church with you. But she died about four months ago. And the rich lady said, hmm, she really has a beautiful house. So the rich lady and God continued to walk a little further and they came to another house. Now this house was even larger and even more beautiful than the first one. And she asked God, whose house does that belong to? God said, oh, that house belongs to your servant, the one who died two weeks ago. And the rich lady said, she really has a really beautiful house. So the rich lady and God continued to walk a little further and they came to another beautiful house. Now this house was very beautiful. It had gold, it had pearls, and it even had diamonds on the window pane. But it was really, really small. And the rich lady said, well God, whose house does this belong to? God said, oh, this house is yours. And the rich lady said, oh no God, you must have this all wrong. Because I attended church all the time. I was head usher, I was a choir director. I went to the church every, almost every single day, went to Bible study every Wednesday night faithfully at 7 o'clock p.m. and I gave to charities and I fed the poor. So you must have me mistaken. God said, no, I got it right. This house belongs to you. God said, see what you don't understand. While you were busy doing the works of God or things that you thought was pleasing unto me, your servant was at home and every time she got down on her knees to scrub your floor or cook your food and even to wash your toilet, she was always talking to me. She was always praying to me, and she hardly ever went any day without saying how much she loved me and how much she cared for me and how much she wanted to, how much she desired to please me. He said, see, that is why her house is this big, because she gave me enough building material to work with. Say, you on the other hand, your house is this small because that's all the building material that you gave me to work with. See, in Ephesians 6 and 7, the Bible tells us that we must render services of goodwill to God and not to men. So we must learn and understand that it's not just about being active in the church or holding a position. It's about having a true relationship with God. And that relationship comes with the things you do and say when no one's watching. So again, I thank you all for tuning in to another one of Immeasurable's Inspirational Moment. But before I go, I want to encourage you all to go to the Play Store on your cell phone and download Immeasurable's free app. And after you download this app, you'll be able to get all of Immeasurable's inspirational moments daily. So again, this is Yana from Immeasurable, and I thank you for tuning in to Immeasurable's inspirational moment.